priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet and cast it into the middle of the burning of the heifer. So the animal is burning and the priest is asked to take three things, cedar wood, hyssop and scarlet and put it in there. Any observations from this text? I'm going to pause for a second because this is very important. Ross, Pastor Manu, I see the word. Okay. Hyssop that was given to our Savior. Right. Scarlet, the the the, the scarlet thread that goes all through the Bible. We see Jesus on the cross. So that's kind of what came to my mind. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Any other thoughts? So hyssop was used to paint the lintel um, at the Passover. Yeah, it was uh, the hyssop. Is it the... was painted in scar with blood, and that was the scarlet. Okay, beautiful. Scarlet is a color and a verb. It's not a, a thing like hyssop and cedar wood. It's not a thing. Okay, beautiful, Itai. So Charles, uh, yeah, okay. So hyssop, it's, yeah, it used to paint the Passover. The, it, the hyssop was the plant that they dipped in the blood of the Passover lamb and then they played the lentils and the posts. Uh, beautiful. Hyssop was, also, cedar? hyssop was also given to uh, Christ on the cross when it, with the vinegar. Yeah, beautiful, Ruben. So mm -hmm. cedar, hyssop was given to Christ on the cross and when he had taken that, when it was mixed with vinegar, he then gave up his spirit and he said, it is finished. Beautiful, okay. We see Christ as God, Brother Josh was saying. Someone else was saying something? Cedar wood is the material of Jesus' cross, right? Uh, we don't know that for sure, but wood is. Yeah, cross was made of wood. Okay. Very good. David's wood. prayer of uh, confession. Psalm 51. Okay. 51, 7. Psalm 51, David's prayer of kind of clear me with, yeah, wash me with Hisham. Beautiful. That's a buzzer. Padma and I think. Beautiful. So it's in scarlet. Scarlet is also <clears throat> color of the scene, you know, in Isaiah yeah. 118. Beautiful, Pastor. So, <clears throat> and so it's chapter... cleansed by his soap. Yep. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. We'll actually get into all and of that. I the cross. Have, yeah, I wanted to have this discussion because I want you to not lose the focus of these three items. And as uh, as um, uh, you know, each of us have discussed over here. Beautiful, beautiful observations. Will actually it ties into scripture so well into into the picture of Christ, and it's interesting. Uh, uh, Etai actually we talked about you know the 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 scarlet being a color, but though it is a color, I want you to go to the Hebrew root of it, where it says, "And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet." And the Hebrew word over there is actually tola. Tola is. Um, the, though it gives the significance of the color, which is per, which is crimson or scarlet or red, it's from a worm called the tola worm. It's a worm. It's a scarlet dye that comes from a worm. And the Hebrew word generally for a worm is rima, but specifically the spirit of God is talking about tola or the tola worm. In fact, in the the first one we talked about, you know, it's the same word that is used in the Messiah as he refers to himself as a worm, as the Tola. But I am a Tola and no man or no is, is what he say, or Isa, which we get from the word man. A reproach of men, a reproach of Adam and despised of the people. A reproach of red or Adam of the earth, despised of the people. And what's interesting over here is this picture. What you see actually is a picture of the Kermis Ilysses or it's called the scarlet worm. And tola is the same word that is used. Now there are other references in scripture to the word, this, to the scarlet worm, where it was used to dye the curtains in the tabernacles in crimson color, Exodus chapter 26 was one, or the dye in, that is to be on the, the blue, the purple and the scarlet on the priestly garments as we read in Exodus chapter 39 verse 29. It's also used in the purification rites of a leper as we, read, as we studied in Leviticus chapter 14. And as we go through this numbers account, it talks about how the scarlet wool or the scarlet yarn has to be put in along with the burning of the heifer, as we read in Numbers chapter 19, verse 6. Now, the scarlet worm, I want you to draw your, I want to draw your attention to something that is unique and interesting about the scarlet worm or the tola, which is one of God's creation. The young female tola worm, when it's ready to lay its egg, it willingly climbs up a tree. And as you would see over here, and it attaches itself permanently to the wood. It makes a hard crimson shell, as you, as you see in this picture, 
And then if you try to pull the worm away, the body of the worm is attached to the shell and to the wood in such a way that the body would just break and tear apart. So you can't separate it once it is attached to the wood. She then lays her eggs inside that, inside that shell and it waits for the eggs to hatch. When the eggs hatch, they actually eat her body, the body of the worm to survive. The mother Tola worm actually would then die. And as the youngs emerge from the shell, they are stained with the crimson red color of the mother worm permanently. So when they come out, they again come out as scarlet worms. And after a few days of the mother's death, the body of the worm actually turns into a white wax wool-like substance. And when the crimson um, worm shell is then crushed, it actually gives out a sweet smelling flavor of, uh, or, a, or a fragrance. God in his infinite wisdom, Yeshua attached himself willingly, not because the nails held him to the cross, but willingly Christ attached himself to the wooden cross. This he did not because somebody forced him to, as we see in John chapter 10, verse 18, no man takes my life away from me, but I lay it down willingly. I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to take it away again. This commandment have I received from God the Father, Jesus Christ's words himself. He bled and he died on the cross. The crimson stain of his blood will then stain every believer, every person who believes in him will now be born again, will be born or will emerge from their old state into being new, new offspring of the Lord, of God, of God, and are permanently stained by the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for them. Just as the young have to eat the mothers to be able to survive, remember Jesus' words, take, eat, this is my body broken for you by being attached to the wooden cross. Christ died so we may live. His offering was a sweet smelling aroma to the Lord. It's fascinating and amazing in that thing where Christ says, I am a worm that is given for you. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet and cast it in the middle of the burning of the heifer. Jesus, the high priest, took the cross and the hyssop the cleansing agent in the scarlet blood of Christ to offer it as a sweet smelling aroma that was pleasing and acceptable to Yehovah. Jesus wants you to become his child stained under his blood. And here's the invitation. The invitation is this, come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Don't delay any further. If you're not a child of God, the children of Israel had to become the children of God and the red heifer had to be sacrificed. Christ is our red heifer. And in his sacrifice, you can become the children of God. There is no other way. 